okay dear students let us go for this question an object is dropped from rest air resistance is not negligible now this is very very important point air resistance is not negligible it means there will be a drag force as the ball will fall through the air there will be an upward drag force and it is given by 6 pi eta rv where eta is the coefficient of viscosity but without going that deep we can just keep it like this f is equal to a constant multiplied by v the instantaneous velocity of the ball now this is the force that would be acting upward what is the acceleration of the object at the start of the motion so we are concentrated only on the start of the motion so at the starting of the motion obviously it will be first acted upon by gravity so there will be acceleration due to gravity and it would be uh, it will start moving with this because there is only one force that is mg and this force minus kv let, let me write it like that this is the f net now you can see this is f net and kv is the viscous force so if velocity is zero initially your force is actually mg that is why initially it will move with acceleration due to gravity but in coming time it will start reducing because v is now not zero so some part of it will start getting out and so it will uh, it, it will start uh, reducing the force so as the f net is reduced the acceleration will reduce so acceleration will be decreasing and after some time acceleration will definitely become zero when it will become zero let us say this is zero so it is mg divided by k is equal to v this velocity is known as terminal velocity so it is the velocity that the body will gain after some time when the viscous force has grown itself and it become equal to the weight so the f net is zero so at that time acceleration will become zero and the body will start falling with the constant velocity which otherwise is difficult to imagine if we do not consider the um, air resistance this is never going to happen it is happening because there is a viscous force that is happening and that is acting on the upon the ball in the upper direction so our answer should be c and let us see it from the mark scheme absolutely the answer is c so with this all the best